Tell me why I was walking to go water my chickens and saw that this watermelon had bust open. So I came down here to check it out and see if this one was going to be ready. I flipped this shit over. Damn. Give me a dead pair of gloves. I want that to be an amputee out this bitch. Y'all lucky I take care of y'all. I didn't even get to try that shit yet. The damn thing looked magically delicious. Y'all better enjoy it, damn it. What it tastes like. Some pretty ass chickens. I'm gonna call that one right there, Boots. All right, y'all, so if y'all been following me for the last couple years. <laughs> animals everywhere just doing what the hell they want. All right, so like I said, if y'all been following me for the last few years, y'all know your boy been struggling to get some watermelons. Last year, I waited way too long and shit busted open during a rainstorm. But, you know, the taste still wasn't there anyway. So even if it didn't bust, I don't know how that was going to go. Didn't put any fertilizer on it. This year, during the winter, you know, I was doing all kinds of research, seeing how to grow a damn watermelon, how to know if they're ready. Anything you need to do to learn how to grow a perfect watermelon, my ass was doing it. So this is the third year. Here we are, you know, I did everything I was supposed to do from fertilizing to watering to learning how to pick it. You know, like I said, this is an orange watermelon. So let's see, you know, I did the knock test. I did the straw test, everything I needed to do. What the hell are you looking at? Here go my handy dandy. I told y'all, y'all need to get y'all one of these ramen blades. You can cut a watermelon, you can cut a motherfucker's ass. I ain't lying to you. Oh yeah, I think. Y'all think I might have did it. I the joint looking and smelling robust. Oh yeah. Juice is coming all over my hand. <laughs> this joint is busting. Oh y'all, look at this. I wish y'all could smell this. It's dirt on it and everything. Hold on, Pico. Get, get your ass away from me. All right, no, you'll try to eat this. Here's the moment of truth, y'all. I, I think I did it. I, three years. It's three years in the making right here, baby. Oh, my God. Hey. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let me talk to you real quick, bitch. You can do anything you want to do. Consistency. Damn it, put your mind to it. Mm. Muy bien. all right y'all so basically i sacrificed one of my smallest watermelons just to see if it was right um that way i know if the bigger ones were ready or not so i'm gonna give the big ones probably like two or three more days just to make sure since they're a little bigger but that was literally a perfect watermelon um I i'm happy as hell i i'm happy as shit so these are my other ones these are literally probably like two or three times this one's definitely three times as big as that one this one's a little bit longer but it's probably like two times bigger and this one's just probably like a another half of that one all those are orange watermelons all my jubilees didn't really do too good i don't know why but they're pretty small i have these right here they're probably literally the same size as the one i just cut open but yeah i feel um super accomplished after that I feel like that's a cherry on top to a magnificent garden year. I'll take that and add that in books. And next year, we're going to be right back at it, baby.